We are learning more tonight about Eric Harris, one of the three victims. Eric was from Watts, Oklahoma, but came to Tulsa to go to school. Two News multimedia journalist Rico Bush spoke with Eric's relatives who say he had a passion for fishing. Rico? Well, Russ, friends say Eric Harris came to this river this morning to noodle, and relatives tell me he died doing what he loved. Rescue teams tried for hours to find three missing men, but that search eventually turned into a recovery. And when crews finally located the body of Eric Harris, family members were in total shock. I would would have never thought uh, anything like that would have happened. He's always been great in the water, I mean, down at the rivers with me. Eric and his cousin Melvin Harris grew up together in Missouri. Melvin says Eric loves spending time outdoors. He always told me that he loved it and how he's catching some giant catfish and he always wanted me to come up. Melvin tells me although Eric just recently took up noodling as a hobby, the thrill of catching catfish with just his hands quickly became a part of his life. He uh, loved to hunt, loved to fish, noodling all the time. A dangerous hobby that took Eric's life. His family members grieving the loss of a man they say left them far too soon. He was a great guy. But as relatives try to move forward, they still fight the reality that a man always filled with joy is no longer here. And the reality that Eric won't be coming back home. Just keep your head up, I guess, and, uh, you know, uh, just keep praying and remember the good things. And Russ, Eric attended the Tulsa Welding School. He leaves behind two children and a girlfriend. Reporting in Midtown Tulsa, I'm Rico Bush. Two News works for you. It is going to be tough for those families. All right, Rico, thanks.